In this video, I'm going to share an incredible offensive tip with you. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button. Also, guys, if you don't know, we post videos every single day, and we're going to be talking today about U-trips or Y-off trips pads. Now, Y-off trips pads is found in the Patriots playbook, and it's one of the best formations this year for a lot of different reasons. If you want to get my full U-trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up for that. By becoming a Patreon member today, you'll get access to all of our ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. U-Trips is included in that, as well as I think right now we have 14 offensive and defensive ebooks. So would love to have you become a Patreon member. I think it's uh, the best way uh, to become a better Madden player is by studying offensive schemes, defensive schemes, understanding why those schemes work, getting into the mind of somebody. And um, I really do believe in ebooks. So uh, that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the video where we're talking about curl flat today, and um, this play is incredible. It's really good. Um, there's a lot of different variations to this play that we can dive into, but we're going to dive into one of them, and we're going to show you how this play can beat man and zone coverage. Um, it can also beat match as well. Um, but here's your setup. You're going to block your running back. You're going to streak your solo wide receiver. You're going to in your outside trips receiver um, or just the outside receiver. You're going to smart route him. And then you're going to drag your tight end. So this is what the setup looks like. And then we're going to motion snap this slot receiver across the formation. I typically like to snap it right about here because it's going to create a little natural pick and rub. And as you see that that post route that we've motioned into a corner route is going to be a really good man beater. Now again, the setup, we're going to streak our solo receiver, we're going to block our running back, drag our tight end in our outside trips receiver, smart route that trips receiver, and then we're going to motion snap this guy across. I like to snap the ball about right here. Um, you're also going to see that this is going to give us a one-on-one -on -one chance to be able to ag them. If you're not throwing aggressive catches in Madden 23, you might want to start because it is the best way to beat the blitz. Agging them is really powerful this year. Um, if they're going to play one-on-one -on -one coverage over the top, especially with some of the receivers that we have in Ultimate Team, this is a really, really, really good way to beat that meta. They have to have two people in the area. There you saw with two people in the area, he were able to stop me. Okay, so the next read on this play is going to be, we got our corner route, of course, which is our number one uh, route. Our next read is our drag to our tight end. Now this drag, you could also turn it into an in route. One thing that's actually not terrible is the block and release drag. It's actually a fairly decent little setup, um, but I want to just show you the drag here real quick. You'll see a lot of times he's going to run this really fast, and a lot of times this is going to be really easy, uh, an easy read for you to be able to beat man-to-man. -man. So in order to stop this play, they have to have a curl flat zone over here, maybe a hard flat, um, and then they also are going to have to have somebody in the middle of the field, and that's where this backside dig is really important to um, this passing concept. So we're looking left, not there, but we got our backside dig route, really easy read for the quarterback. Now, um, that is our primary different methods for beating man-to-man. -man. Now I want to dive into some zone concepts. Um, if they run cover three, this is a re this is really designed more so for zone. Um, it's a great zone beater. It'll beat man as well. You'll see that the seam streak is really effective. As you see right there, I'm able to hit the seam streak against man. One of the other things I want to show you uh, real quick, more so about the man blitz, uh, aspect. If you are getting pressured, um, what you can do with this play that's interesting is this right here, this motion snap will cause some trouble. And a lot of times this guy will be misaligned and you could potentially hit this guy over the top. So just kind of keep that in your back pocket. Motion from U-Trips is one of the many things that makes this such a good formation. Uh, let's go to cover four real quick. Most of the time, uh, you won't see a ton of cover four, but if you do see cover four, the main route that we're wanting to hit here is we're wanting to work this corner route. It's really, really good um, as long as we can actually complete it. Um, this is going to be cover three. It's going to be cover four. It doesn't matter. They're going to have to zone drop to 
stop this corner route, or they're going to have to go user the corner route uh, to stop it. It's one of the better routes on this play. Um, again, you want to snap it about right here. You're just going to wait on it, pass lead it right into that little void, and you see that that is going to attack that point of the defense. So that was cover three. Um, we showed you cover four. And then we'll also show you cover two as well uh, and just show you how this has to be usered. It's really a, uh, a very effective play because of that. Um, against cover two, I will say cover two probably defends us the best, to be honest. But there's so much more stuff that's open. Let me show you what I mean. So it's going to defend the corner right okay, especially if they back off, um, if they back him off. But what's going to be open is going to be your high-low. Your drag route is going to be uh, significantly more open on this sideline. You see right there, and we can get about 10 to 15 yards. And if we break a tackle, it could be more than that. So it's really good against any zone coverage, any man coverage in the game. Now, um, let's talk a little bit about a potential uh, concept you might see in someone trying to stop this. Uh, and that's basically this. Uh, we're going to put... We're going to play cover two Mabel, if you will, um, on that side. And then and then what you'll see here is this backside dig is going to be the key read. So, um, you know, they're going to still have to lurk that tight end, especially early on in this play. So they're going to have to lurk the tight end. Um, and then they have the extra zones over there to stop that. And that's going to leave the whole middle of the field open for Mike Evans to be able to work into the void of the zone defense this is also true of a cover four drop for example if they're going to go user the um if they're going to go user the corner route themselves then what you're going to see here is this in route is going to get in a really tender spot against this coverage right about there and you see that that is going to be a great way to kind of break down the defense so overall u trips is an incredible offense this little play that we talked about today is going to be able to be very effective against man zone, really anything. It's going to force them to adjust to that. And then there's a ton of other stuff that you can do. If you want to learn our entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. Remember, all of our Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks as well as all the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release, including the U-Trips offense, any updates to that as well. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of this video and click the link down below.